Hi everybody, uh, Gary Porter again. Uh, what we've got here is another rodent coil. I'm only pulsing the A side of the rodent. I've got uh, an extra 60 turns on this outside area right here on each side of 17 gauge wire. Inside, That's inside the donut. Also inside the donut there's these two 750 turn uh, 24 gauge coils. Just a regular coil. Uh, they come down down here and go over to two bridge rectifiers. I get a little over 4,000 positive and I can by doing the jury rigging of the cap connections I can get a negative 4,000. It's going to drive a Tesla spark gap. But anyway so it takes it a while to get to 4,000 but to get to 2,000 it, it screams pretty fast to get up to two grand. And uh, that's only driving one, I'm only driving the A side of the coil over here. The 60 turns of the 17 gauge are putting out about 28 to 30 volt spikes. That's the mean reading is about 28 to 30 volts. And uh, that's where we are today. So anyway, uh, we've got to do some more work on the feeding back energy back to charge the battery. I've got to probably redo this uh, core arrangement transformer thing, but because uh, what I was seeing was uh, not with this coil, but with the other coil, uh, I was seeing uh, I think oh about point about about uh, anywhere from 95 milliamps down to about 20 milliamps, depending on what you wanted out in voltage in the caps. So. What I was seeing coming back was uh, uh, point. Let me see, about 0.1 milliamps. No, about yeah, about uh, maybe about 1.9 milliamps coming back. So I was using 20 to 90 and getting back one. So something's wrong there. So I got to redo that. So maybe the uh, the 260 turn coil 17 gauge can help recharge the battery. We'll see. Anyway, have a good day.